Hi everyone, in this two-part series I'd like to show you how I built my garden gate from scratch. As I built my new fence, I wanted my gate to be a specific width. I wanted the gate to have a slim, door-like profile with feather ridge boards sitting flush with the rest of the gate frame. I also wanted a gate topper slash arch, all of which called for a DIY build as always. So in part one of this two-part series, in today's video, we'll focus on building a garden gate arch, topper, pergola, I'm not sure what to call it, but you get the point. I wanted this topper to act as a strengthening bar, keeping the gate post plumb for years to come. I also wanted this topper to act as a shelter for my new gate from rain. And finally, I thought it would look quite nice too, so why not? The gate topper will have beveled edges, so the rainwater can run off easily. It will have two 4x4 grooves cut into it, so you can slot onto the gate post nicely. I had two old 4x4 fence posts from my old fence already, so I decided to reuse one of them. I took a 1 inch slice lengthwise off the post with my circular saw, which gave me a nice piece of 3x4 timber to work with. After I had my beveled edges cut, I started by marking exactly where the 4x4 recess would go. I left a 3 inch overhang on each side. I then used my circular saw to cut a 3 quarter inch recess. This was 4 inch by 4 inch, same as my gate posts, so they slot in with a snug fit. I then used hammer and wood chisel to remove the strips and clean up the corners neatly. I used my orbital sander to sand down any imperfections, and I also wanted to get rid of the old fence paint from the post. I used 120 grit sandpaper, conscious that too fine a grain will stop the timber from absorbing the wood protection I was planning to apply later. It was now time for me to cut my gate post to length. I used a spirit level to make markings. I then clamped a piece of timber across both posts so I can make straight cuts with my circular saw. Once the posts were cut to length, a fit test was in order. There was a slight kink in the timber, but that wasn't a major issue. It straightened out later when I put the screws in, but other than that, it seemed to fit quite well, so that was a relief.
you go. can tell I was pretty impressed with myself, waving at my wife, thinking she'd be too. She did give us a nod from far away, so that counts, I guess. two days I filled the old cracks on the timber using homemade wood filler. I made the wood filler from sawdust and wood glue. Quick tip, you can also add a small amount of water to the mix to get the consistency right as wood glue can be very thick and sticky to work with. I then applied a few coats of clear shed and fence protector and that was it. My gate topper slash arch was ready and I was ready to move on to the next stage, build the actual gate. In the next video, I'll take you through the exact process I followed to build my garden gate. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I'll also add the link to the next video once it's ready in the description below. If you are still here, then cheers for your patience. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you found this video useful. It will really help support our channel grow. Thanks again and speak soon.